Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun fall try-on haul, kind of roundup for you guys. I am sharing a ton of things from Shopbop. I love shopping from Shopbop and I don't think I've ever done like a Shopbop haul on here or like a try-on and I love so many pieces from Shopbop. Shopbop is actually affiliated with Amazon um, so some of the pieces from Shopbop are actually on Amazon. You can shop right through Amazon. Um, but they have more kind of higher end, kind of designery things on there. Um, they have brands like Ugg and New Balance and Levi's and A Goldie, which I love. So I have so many things that I love for the fall going into winter that I've had for years. So I'm actually gonna share some of the things I've had for a very long time. I'm also gonna share some new items that I just got in from Shopbop that I'm really excited to wear for this fall. And we're just gonna round up everything. I've got shoes, I've got jeans, I've got um, some tops and some comfy wear. So I'm really excited. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, I have two pieces from Varley and Varley stuff does kind of quickly sell out on Shopbop, but I will say if you want to just order it straight off of Varley, they have free shipping and free returns as well. So if you just want to get it off Varley, you can. Um, uh, maybe I'll try to link both, but I did get this little fleece zip up recently. Um, it is so so warm and cozy. I cannot wait to wear this all the way through the winter as well. Um, it kind of has this big ribbed collar and then it has the like soft fleece material. It is what it is on the outside as the inside. It's very, very soft and cozy. It also has little zippers here. Um, I just thought this was a cute throw on. I love the dark brown. It comes in lots of other colors as well. Um, and size wise, I did go with a size small. Next up from Varley, I think they always have this on Shop Up. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the Holly half zip and it is in their double soft material, which honestly, if you get anything in their double soft material, you will love it. It is like heaven on your skin. It is so soft and comfortable, but breathable. I love it. Um, this is the, I think the ivory color, um, but it has a little bit of like a heathering to it. It's just so good. I love it. Size wise, I got a size small in it. I go true to size pretty regularly in Varley. Um, some of their shorts I had to size down in, but everything else that I've tried, like their sweatpants, um, their leggings, everything else runs pretty true to size for me. Next up are two new pieces that I just got and added to my closet. Um, hopefully they will be kind of staples on their website. I don't know. Actually, this sweater was available last year and it sold out so fast, um, but it came back this year and I'm very excited because it's so nice. It's very beautiful. The gold button detail is just everywhere <laughs> this fall, um, but this one's a really nice quality. It's from um, Line and Dot and it's like this boucle um, kind of material, but on the inside it's super, super soft. It's not itchy. It's a really nice, you can tell it's like a quality material. Um, I went with a size small. I do feel like it runs a tiny bit, I don't want to say oversized, but for like this kind of classic look, it does run a little slouchy, I will say. Um, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. And the other thing is it's a really great price point for the quality. It's not super expensive. I think it might be under a hundred. So super, super cute. I love it. Like I said, I went true to size. The other new piece I got from Shop Pop is this blazer. I have been searching for kind of a brown houndstooth blazer that I could wear every fall and just have it in my closet. And I saw actually Anine Bing has a really pretty one. It's like $400 though. And I was like, I don't really want to spend that. Um, and then I came across this one and it looked almost identical. Uh, and I love it. It is so pretty. Um, it's a true blazer. So it's a lighter weight um, jacket. Um, it's not something that is like a coat coat, um, but it's a really, really great length. It's a little bit on the longer side, and I feel like I can get away with wearing, I can wear skinny jeans, um, but I can wear leggings or like faux leather leggings. I can wear um, 
some more like longer sweaters under it too. I don't know, I feel like I can style this really well with the pieces that I have in my closet and the color is so pretty. It is like this dark brown with some tan, different browns um, and I love the button detail. It's really pretty. Size wise, I did size down to an extra small. Um, I went down one size. I read the reviews. It kind of said that they all said it runs a little bit big um, and I agree with the reviews. So I would definitely size down one. So pretty, such like a classic piece for fall. I just wanted to come up close so you guys can see the print. So pretty. I love the coloring. Next up, let's move on to a couple of denim. I have two pairs of denim that I really love from A. Goldie. I do not like the Riley, I think it's called. That is very, very popular. I've shared this feeling before. I don't like the Riley cut. It does not fit me right. Um, and I have actually had a really hard time finding a fit from A. Goldie that fits me well, that isn't too long or just fits weird. Um, so these right here are some of my favorite. I actually have them in two washes. My other wash is in the wash right now. So um, I will link both of them because they are separated, but they're called the 90s crop. Um, so they are a slight cropped jean. I am 5'2", um, and this is kind of where they hit me. So they are slightly cropped. Um, they are very, very high rise. This one has a little more like distressing. My other pair is actually a very similar color, but there's no distressing on them. Um, Size wise, however, if you look on the website, it looks like a very oversized loose fitting denim. I just wanted more of a tapered straight leg look. I didn't want it too oversized. So I sized down to a 24. I'm usually a 26 in jeans. There's no way I'm ever a 24, but I really like the fit of them. Um, so if you like these, you want them a little more fitted rather than the picture you're looking at, size down one to two sizes. Um, but if you like that kind of loose, really baggy look, um, maybe try your true size. But I really like the fit of them. They're great. Like I said, I have them in two different washes. Other pair of A. Goldie jeans that I love. I recently got these kind of at the end of spring. So I haven't actually gotten a ton of wear out of them. I don't really wear a lot of jeans in the summer, but I'm really excited about the fit. I know I'm gonna wear these a ton in the fall here too. They are called, <laughs> there's like a long name to them, um, but I'll have them linked. They're called the 90s mid-rise loose fit denim and they are this is like my baggy a little bit longer denim which i know is very very huge right now i've really only wanted like one pair <laughs> that i could just get a lot of wear out of um and they actually fit me so good so i i did size down to a 25 in them um it says it's a mid-rise, but it is covering my belly button. So I feel like it is a high-rise. It's not an ultra high-rise, but it definitely has a higher rise for me. Um, and then the kind of fit is a little bit looser through here. Um, just a little bit slouchy, which I like. And then the length is like the perfect longer length for me. It doesn't scrape the ground, which I cannot do. <laughs> I did that in high school. It was horrible. He'd come back with like tattered, muddy jeans, um, but they hit like right above that and it's perfect. Um, I am 5'2 though, so this is the length on me, um, but I love them. They're really, really good. They're so comfortable. A Goldie denim quality is really nice. It's soft but it's not stretchy. Um, it's just a really, really great denim material. So if you find a fit in a wash you like, go for it. I actually have one new wash and one new fit that I'm really excited about I'm gonna share next. Pair of A Goldie Jeans is called a very long name. I will have them linked. It's called the 90s Pinch Waist High Rise Kick which there's an original like pinch waist. Um, those have always been too long for me. They fit through here, um, but they've always been just like a little too long. And I just, I can't cut a $200 pair of jeans at the bottom. And I really don't want to have to pay to get them hemmed. 
so they've never really worked out for me. These, however, are a great fit. I love the dark wash. I'm really liking the dark wash jeans for the fall and winter here. Um, they fit very similar to the loose fit, except they're a little more high rise. Um, I would say like, like a little bit more. Um, and then they're not quite as loose, but they kind of have that like wider bottom. I would say it's like in between a straight leg, a loose, and a boot cut jean. Um, that's kind of what they feel like. So I really love them. I think they're really comfortable. I love like the dark wash, like I said. Um, and size wise, I did size down to a 25 in them. The last pair of denim I have here are my oldest pair in my closet. I've had these for so many years now and I love them. They are from Levi's and they are my only skinny jean left in my closet. Everything has transferred over to like a straight leg, um, which I will never, ever, ever get rid of these jeans. They are so comfortable. They are from Levi's. They are called the 501 Skinnies and they are in the, sh I think the color Tango Light. I can't remember. They will be linked. The wash will be linked. Um, I go true to size with a 26 in Levi's. And if you can find a Levi's that you love, you will have them forever <laughs> because the moment you put them on, they might be a little tighter, a little stiff, and then they break in and then they mold to you and you will never get rid of them because <laughs> every time you put them on, you'll be like, oh, these just fit so good. I've had these, like I said, for probably six years now, maybe longer, and they are my favorite jeans. I love them. So I will never get rid of these. I don't care if skinny jeans are going out. Um, they're just like so comfortable on. So love them and I'll link them. Next up, I'm gonna quickly share, I love the Anine Bing sweatshirts. They're always on her website. I also love their t-shirts. I'll have all of these ones that I'm sharing linked, um, but this one's like the classic Bing. Um, I have the Paris wine and the hoodie, which is a little more oversized. I go true to size in her sweatshirts, um, but I do not dry them because when you dry them, I find that they do shrink. I made that mistake with an old sweatshirt <laughs> that I still have in my closet. It's just too, it like shrunk up quite a bit. So I will say they are great sweatshirts. They feel worn in, um, they're comfortable, they're pricey, but do not dry them. <laughs> they will shrink up. So I go true to size. If you want to size up and just not worry about it, throw it in the wash and dryer, you can do that. Um, but they are really great quality sweatshirts. Um, they're fun. They're a little on the pricey side though. Another Anine Bing piece that I have in my closet that I've had for a couple years now. I splurged a couple years ago and got this denim jacket for a couple reasons. One, it's called the Rory jacket. My daughter's Rory, so I had to get it. Um, but also it is just a really great kind of oversized longer denim jacket. Um, there's so many really great oversized denim jackets out there, um, but I really do like this one. It is on the pricey side. I will say if you want it and get it, size down. I got a size extra small and I can fit like the thickest of thickest sweaters under this and still have a little bit of room. Um, but I like it because like I said, it's a little bit longer. I can wear with leggings, um, which I tend to do with my denim jacket a lot. And and I love the wash of it. It's got some distressing on it. Um, just a really good quality denim jacket. Okay, so that is everything from Shop Up. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a bigger try on haul. Everything's linked down below. And if you want to see more Shop Up, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe to my channel if you're not. And I'll see you guys in my next video.